This is the Star Wars Art Cold on it, and it's to raise money for me. And me! I'm the host, and Joey C. Our first star is this young lady who does stupid things. One of the stupid things she does is jump out in cars running on the freeway. She does other things like jump off cliffs, stick nail through her head, let herself get ran over by trains, and a few other stuff she'll tell you about herself. My co-star, Lisa Salazar, will ask this young star some questions. Okay, this is Lisa Salazar, and our hero hacker, I would like to ask you some questions. Will you cooperate and answer them with me? Yes. Okay. The first question, that is the main question I'd like to ask you, is how do you do this? This mainly, how do you jump off all these cliffs and survive them? It's, it's just a mystery to all of us. How do you do it? Well, it was just, when I was little, I, I always wanted to do it, and as I grew older, I jumped off higher stuff, and now this is where I am. Oh, that is a very interesting story. I wish I could hear more about that certain subject. Well, another thing I wanted to ask you is, well, how much money do you really make off, off, off of your career you made, you know? How much money have you made through the years, and how much money did you make for every jump and stuff? I get about two thousand dollars every jump, and a year I make about fifty thousand. Fifty thousand? Oh, that is me. I should get out my calculator and add it. No. Okay. Um, something else I've been meaning to ask you is, um, t just tell me about yourself. You know, how much have you been doing? What? Well, well, how are your features of yourself and everything? Since we don't have a TV here, we need to. You need to sort of explain yourself. Well, I have kind of blondish brown, blondish brown hair, and I have blue eyes, and I'm about ten toes, and well, I have short hair. Well, that's enough for that. Okay. One wait, more. Wait, no, I want to ask a question. Okay, let's hear a question. What I don't hear. understand is when you drove that 12-foot spike through your head into the concrete floor. I just don't understand that. Now, how did you possibly do that? I've got a fake brain. Oh, is that how you do it? <laughs> oh! Does fake brain work properly? Yes. Or is it in your left toenail? No. <laughs> That's what everybody was saying back in the 30s. Oh, I understand this. You've got your real brain in your one little section, and you drive the nail through a different section where your play brain is. Is that how you do it? It's, it sure is. Oh, okay. Well, I heard enough about this. We'll get to her a little bit later. That doesn't sound very hard. How much money do you make on this? Oh, well, I get to some pretty hard windows to clean, you know. Sometimes they make me go up pretty high skyscrapers. And I get paid pretty much money for that, you know. It depends on the job that I take. Most of the time, people will call me from their houses if they're going to be going out of town or something. And they need their windows washed. Well, they just call me. I give my number, 545 Well, you don't have much time to listen to all this. <laughs> so I wanted to ask you a question about... That one day you got put in the world record book for washing seven million windows from the Empire State Building, the World's Trade Centers, and the downtown apartment building on 17th and 8th Park Street. How would you do that? Oh, well, I'm, I'm special, unique in this kind of way, you know. <laughs> uh, I've, got, I've got a talent for washing windows, you know. You have to consider your talents and all. Well, Lisa... <laughs> I heard this strong formula of yours will eat through your hand if you don't wear gloves. And one time you forgot to put shoes on and you got one on your foot. Oh, yes, now, I... How are, you, how are you managing without that one foot? I remember that little incident there. Well, I went to the doc doctor, you know, the surgeon there, and they gave me another fake... Okay, toes, okay, you know, we are so now. Lisa's going to sing one of her favorite songs. Eight six seven five three zero nine. Here she is. Jamie, I got your number. I need to make you mine. Jamie, don't change your number. Eight six seven.
Six seven five three zero nine. Pretty neat song, huh? That was Lisa's favorite song. Eight six seven five three zero nine eight three one three eight seven. Here's a new star. Gonna sing another song. Carol Hackler. Here she is. Well, too bad Carol couldn't show up today. We've been looking for her all day, but we thought she'd show up at the last minute. But she's just late. Unfortunately, that only works in movies. Okay, back to that amazing stupid girl who drives bikes through her head and all kinds of neat stuff. We're going to talk about another one thing. She one day pulled every one of her hairs out strand by strand, and it only took her three years. Okay, we're going to have a word with Carol. Lisa, Lisa, do you want to ask Carol some questions? Oh, yes, I think that would be a good idea. Okay, Carol, the first thing I'd like to know is, just like last time, how did you do it? Did you use a, a, pie, a pick or anything, or did you just use your bare hands? I, I'd just like to know that for one thing. Well, it was painful. I just used my bare hands. It was very painful, but I, but I suffered through the pain. Oh, and that was, that was your idea of getting sort of like famous, but putting that one little book record. Did you really like that? Did you really like that for, you know... For something that you really wanted to do? Yeah, well, it was okay. Oh, how interesting. Okay, well then, did you have any special formula or something that you rubbed on your hair or something to make it less painful? I know, like I said, it was real painful, but did you use any other substance? No, just my bare hands. Is that all you used, huh? Okay, um, I heard you had an another famous trick trick out. It was about a disappearing act. And you went under quicksand. It was real life quicksand too. And you stood under there for one whole hour. And I know someone can't hold a breath for an hour. So what trick, what kind of a trick did you use for this? I just, you know, like to know the trick for it. Well, I can't tell if that's a special trick. Oh, really? You can't tell it to just me? Just little old me? No, because there's a, a thousand people out there that are listening. Oh, nobody's going to be watching this. Go ahead, tell us. No, I can't. It's a, it's a special thing. Oh, okay. Then I'll just skip that question. So, well, so my, I need, well, I need to stop this questioning. She won't tell us nothing. Okay. Now for you, we have, guess who? You'll never guess. Little Orphan Annie. Hello. For, say hello to her, Annie. Hello. Okay, Annie. I'd like you to sing your famous song, World Known. The sun will come on tomorrow. Say so that I Wait, okay, that's enough, Annie. I wanted to ask you some other questions. What do you like? What do you do with all that money you make? I buy toys with it. And what else? Animals and dogs. Animals and dogs, huh? How come you buy turtles, kangaroos, giraffes, and insects, huh? Well, one thing for turtles, I like to jump on their backs. Kangaroos just give me big rides. Okay, what do you do with mosquitoes? What I want to know is, what do you do with the mosquitoes? Well, I well make your answer short. <laughs> oh, well, forget about that. What do you do with a giraffe? Hurry. They, they okay, that's all the time we have for you. we got to get on to some other entertainment. Okay. Okay, here's Carol Hackler singing this, her new song. It makes no urgent, 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 urgent can be. How urgent a love can be. It's urgent, urgent, urgent. 